They're up in pacing. Kevin's Gold, T.A. Michael, and Private Event drive out for the lead from the center of the track. Moving up is Frantic Frenzy. These four now across the track. Settling in fifth is Crystal Ace. Rosie Sheik drops in sixth. Broadway Clamor got away seventh. In eighth position of Bells and Whistles. And the early trailer is Twin Explosion. They move into the stretch for the first time and Private Events opened up a three and a half length advantage and he goes by the opening quarter in 28 and two. By the grandstands for the first time, Private Event leads on the outside. Frenic Fenzi hung out there second. T.A. Michael covered up in third. Now these three have drawn away some five lanes from the rest of the field. In fourth is Kevin's Go racing fifth Crystal Ace. Three lanes back to Rosie Sheik. Another two back to Broadway Clamor. Bells and whistles eight, twin explosion trails. He's 16 lanes from the leader. They're going a very quick half mile here, halfway home in 57 seconds flat. They move on to the back stretch. Private event is put away. Frantic Frenzy now is on the chase. Second is T.A. Michael towards the inside. Frantic Frenzy third. There goes Kevin's goal moving up fourth. Right behind him fifth, Crystal Ace. Then Rosie Sheik on the move sixth. Broadway Clamor seventh. Bells and whistles, a twin explosion, still can see them all. And around the far turn, private event holds firm by three quarters and 126 and four. They turn for the money and private event leads by two. T.A. Michaels had a golden trip and he'll be a factor if he's good enough. Losing ground third, Kevin's goal, Crystal Ace, three wide around him, final eighth of a mile. And private event is standing tall, he leads by two. T.A. Michael trying to come on second, a distant third is Crystal Ace. Your leader is Private Event. He's going to win it. Private Event leads by a length and a quarter. T.A. Michael second, Crystal Ace third, 156 and four for the mile. In Balmoral's seventh race, three Private Event is your unofficial winner. Two, T.A. Michael finished second. Four, Crystal Ace finished third and five. Rosie Sheik was fourth. Your unofficial perfected 3-2, trifecta 3-2-4. Please hold all tickets. Let's go to Maywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're six minutes away from race number seven here at Maywood. Number three, Riley's Comet has been scratched. This race features perfecta trifecta, second half of the twin trifecta. Six minutes from Maywood's seventh race. Tonight's seventh race is official, going into the winner's circle three private event. Private event is owned by the avant-garde stables, trained by Bob Shermack, Sam Widger, the winning driver. Private event, Nil and I bred four-year-old gelding by Price Sarnell of the coming events, Mayor Penny event, and a track program selection by mutual rating Sulky Sam Jr. in Kelly's Corner. Tonight's seventh race was the Ranchers and McAllister Equipment Race. Seventh race official, 3-2 Perfecta, $47.40, 47 40 on the 3-2 Perfecta. The Trifecta, 3 2 4 $266.40. $266.40 on the 3-2-4 Trifecta. Seventh race rundown is 5-2-1, 3-4-6, 8 7 9. Time for the mile, 156 and 4. In tonight's eighth race, no changes. Start to, eighth race starts tonight's late double. In the ninth race, Brian Carpenter drives number three to critical. 17 minutes to wager on tonight's late double. Post time at 10.26. Back to Maywood. Ladies and gentlemen, horses are coming out for this, the seventh race here at Maywood. Perfecta trifecta wagering in the second half of the twin trifecta. Number three, Riley's Comet has been scratched. Now three minutes to post, just three minutes. Number one is Halewood and Dennis Maybe. Number two, JJ's Raven and Mike Brown. Number three is 